What is up, Earth Noids and Space Noids? I am just a simple new type, and in this video, we are starting our adventures through Mobile Suit Gundam Double Z or Double Zeta. Last time, we saw our hero, Camille, defeat Sirocco, but suffered heavy brain damage, it seems, from burning out on his new type potential. As the Ayug is heavily weakened and the Titans essentially decimated, it leaves Axis Zeon to grow stronger. This time, we will pick up right where we left off. The Argma is still heavily damaged from their last attack as they head towards Side 1. So let's get into this. A young boy in a petite mobile suit is picking up some junk around Side 1 in Colony 1 known as Shangri-La. This is Judo Ashita. He looks out to see the Argama approaching. On board the ship, Bright is trying to get access to dock at Colony 1, but their port is currently full. Fa is by Camille's side. He is still not completely there since his accident at the end of Zeta. Shinta and Kum are also concerned for Camille. Judo picked up what looks like a pod from the outskirts of the colony. He heads back with the pod. The Junkers are hoping that to get some money for this pod, they open it to find Yazan Gable passed out. Now remember, at the end of Zeta, Yazan's Hambrabi was destroyed by Camille, but he was able to escape in time. Also one thing, I didn't mention at the end of our Zeta coverage that Yazan is the one that actually kills Basque during the final battle instead of Rekawa in the movies. One of his junk friends, Bicha, comes in and tries to take his bounty, but Yazan wakes up and chokes Bicha. He tells him that they are on side one. Judao gives Yazan some food. During which he mentions that the Argama is here on this colony and he wants to check it out. Although this is how the conversation probably should have went down. Going to the Argama. What? The mention of the Argama makes Yazan get in the mobile worker and steal a truck. The Junkers and Yazan go to spy on the ship. They notice Fa who is taking Camille to the hospital. Yazan goes and sticks up Fa. They steal key cards and open up the back. Judo finds Camille being Camille. He touches his hand and he can sense his new type power. It appears that Judo has that new type touch as well. Shinta and Kum are sneaking around and notices Yazan and the Junkers taking Fa. Judo doesn't tell Yazan about Camille. He tells Fa that his parents aren't around and he must make a living to survive. Astonage and Bright are trying to get repairs done on the ship, but they don't have enough money to get too much fixed. This is the first time any exchange of money has been done for repairs. This is also an EFF controlled colony, so who knows. Shinta and Kum try to tell Bright about the kidnappers, but they come bursting in with demands. As they are demanding, Yazan takes a mobile worker and heads towards the Argama. Shinta and Kum want to save Fa, so naturally they go out and pick up a gun. They fight fire the gun and don't understand how physics work, so they go flying backwards. Judo looks at the Zeta Gundam and can sense Camille. He goes and steals the unit. He wants to sell it. While this is going on, Torres is fighting with Yazan. As they are fighting, Yazan attacks Segusa, who is helping Fa and kills him. No, Segusa! In that moment, Judo decides to fight against Yazan. The two escape into the colony. Yazan finds a different mobile worker. Zeta drops the beam saber and Yazan takes it and drives it into Zeta Gundam. He lets off the rockets in his arms and is able to destroy the mobile worker, but Yazan is still alive. Bright gets into a mobile worker and does a Star Wars on Zeta Gundam. He captures Judo, but suddenly an explosion occurs. Judo runs off. As this is happening, an Indra class ship shows up outside the colony. The Indra class is the primary ship that we will see Neo Zeon use during the first Neo Zeon war. It is the evolution of the Musai class ship. This ship was supposedly present during the end of the Grips conflict. I think this was retconned into the Zeta movies if I remember correctly. This ship has a mega particle gun, a twin mega particle gun, anti-air lasers, and an unknown number of missile launchers. It has the ability to operate in space and earth atmosphere and has a balut system for earth re-entry. They send out a briefcase towards the colony. The suitcase is picked up by the heads of the colony. It is pure gold. It seems Axis is bribing Side 1 to allow them to dock. One of the heads of leadership named Chimatter doesn't like this and informs Bright. He suggests that the Argma uses service tunnels to escape and not be noticed by Axis. Mashimo Cello is in command of the Andrew class ship. It seems that he wants to ensure that Side 1 will bow down to Haman and Zeon. While Judo and the Junkers are planning to steal the Zeta again, his sister, 
Lena, tries to stop him. During this time, they spot the Argma being towed throughout the colony. He gets into the petite mobile worker and chases the Argma. He is able to grapple onto the ship. He goes to the hangar and looks at his mobile suit. The Gallus J. Or is it Gaius J? Like Spanish origin? Let me know in the comments. The AMX 101 Gallus J specializes in close combat. It is considered a cleanup unit that you send out after a bombing run. It doesn't really have any long range weapons, but Axis scientists took a lot of inspiration from the Goof and its superior close combat abilities. Like the Goof, it also has the finger launchers that are great at short range. It is also equipped with a two tube missile pod, an energy gun, a beam saber, and the BR-87A beam rifle that was also used by the Hyzek and the Marasai. And just look at it, it is designed to look like a very buff dude. It seems he is in love with Haman. He is simping quite hard. He even keeps a rose that Haman gave him. He launches in his mobile suit. Chi Matter breaks away from the Argama and notices Judo climbing on the side of the ship. Bright is informed instantly. He is reminded of Amuro and he has a feeling about him. Haro, Shinto, and Kum find Judo. He hides with the kids before Ash Ashtonaj comes in, spotting the stowaway. Mashima approaches the ship, demanding that the Argama surrenders. Judo sneaks out and places explosives on the unit. It blows, causing Mashima to fall off the ship. Oh, he's an idiot. Fog goes out in the Mithis. In one of the rare instances we actually see it in its mobile armor form, the Gallus J comes in and destroys the Verniers of the Mithis. The war orphans and Judo head to the hangar. He steals Zeta once again. He rushes over and protects the Mithis. Mashimar goes on about smelling his rose. The two engage in battle. Judo has no idea what he is doing. He is pushing the wrong buttons and crashing quite a lot. Mashimar demands that he draw his beam saber. He struggles to find it, so he just starts punching Mashimar. As the Gallus J tries to jump on Zeta, he figures it out and uses the beam saber to take out Mashimar's head. Judo gives back the Zeta and takes off with his sister. He notes that the Argama will be hiding in the junk of side one to lay low for a while, so he will be back. Chimata is assisting with hiding the Argama once again, Caesar is trying to helm the ship, but notes that he isn't Segusa. Mashima is on the colony in disguise. He purchases a stay at a hotel with gold? What is the value of this gold? What is the exchange rate? Why did one transaction trigger so many questions I never had about Universal Century? They are trying to take the Argama without taking any blood. How did that producer's note get in the script? He recalls being assigned to Shangri-La by Haman. He is mesmerized by her beauty. As they are driving, they happen to almost crash into the Junkers. The Junkers happen to be picking up Judo. Mashimur's subordinate, Gotten, is heading to the hospital to use the people as shields, but Mashimur finds this dishonorable and almost causes them to crash into Camille and Fa. Mashimur gets out and asks if everyone's okay. Oh no, he starts simping for Fa. Judo and the Junkers are searching for the Argama when Mashimur comes in looking for it as well. They snuck his mobile suit on a truck full of alcohol crates. Mashimur gets in his Gallus J. Judo tries to lasso his mobile suit. Hilarity ensues. Mashimur notices him. He does a little dance to try to toss Judo off. The Junkers come in and start throwing beer bottles at Mashimur. It distracts him while Judo comes in. The two begin fighting. Both almost fall out of the mobile suit. More hilarity ensues. Judo falls and the Junkers catch him. Mashimur remembers Haman's words of keeping the colonies safe. The Junkers finally are able to find the Argama, but of course, Bright and the crew are informed of their break-in. As they make it to the hangar, Torres and the crew come in and stop them. Judo rushes and gets into Zeta Gundam. He steals the unit and goes to fight Mashimur. Judo drives him away from the Ship. However, his team sets a trap for him. They accidentally blow a hole in the colony. Zeta and the Gallus J head out into space. Bright is trying to guide Judo as much as possible as he is still green. He is able to fend off Mashimir for now. He heads back into the colony. Bright sends Fa to go pick up the Zeta. As she heads out, she crosses paths with Mashimur. He starts simping hard once again. Mashimur is meeting with Gimman Bajak. He is a junk dealer and the creator of the Geze. The Geze is created using random mobile suit parts that Gimman and found lying around during the grips conflict. It even has Gundarium for some of its armor. It has no armament and is intended to be a mobile worker, but it can fly within the colony for a limited amount of time. It also has a cockpit that circles around the unit. Its only weapon is a rod that is used to crush junk. Mashimur fondles his flowers and thinks of Haman. 
Now, I like to think that Haman is being cold and distant from Mashimir, but his memories of the situation play to his fantasies and delusions more so. Mashimir agrees to work with Gaman. He will even back him up with Gaza Seas. Meanwhile, Fa tells Judo that he is a really good pilot and should consider becoming a cadet. His sister, of course, wants him to have some structure and thinks that he should go with the Argama, but he is hesitant. What is Mashimir up to? What do you think he's up to? He really does think that flower is Haman, doesn't he? If his subordinate didn't walk in, he would probably have f***ed that flower. The Junker, L was spying on Mashimur's team and goes to tell Fa. Fa steals L's car and goes to tell the Argama. The rest of the Junkers go to school. Shinta and Kum, of course, follow and mess around and end up making a ZG in the school playground. L comes in to find Judo and informs him that an attack is about to take place. The giant ZG makes the mobile armor think Zeta Gundam and it heads towards the school. They threaten to destroy the school if Zeta Gundam doesn't come out. Judo decides the Looney Tunes this shit by distracting them and tying a rope around the Geze's legs. It somehow works and knocks over the mobile worker. A mysterious man shows up. It is Yazan. He goes and tries to steal the Geze, but he forgot that he was in a Looney Tunes cartoon. Fa heads back to the Argama and launches in Zeta Gundam. She heads to the school and begins fighting the Geze. Fa doesn't want to use any weapons within the colony, so she gets all punchy. Judo and the Junkers find these round tanks, and he has a plan. He distracts the mobile worker while the Junkers goes to break off the tanks, causing it to roll down the hill, crushing the mobile worker. The mobile worker makes this sound effect. Yay! solidifying this is Looney Tunes. They execute the plan and the ball heads towards the Geze, but he is able to throw it. It is merely a minor distraction. Judo heads towards Zeta. Fa stands up the mobile suit while Judo is on top of it. He climbs into the open cockpit, sitting on Fa. He takes over for her and begins fighting the mobile armor. It is surprisingly fast. He spins his cockpit and gets the upper hand, but it causes him to get really dizzy. This is when Judo comes in with the beam sabers and destroys its arm. The mobile worker is destroyed, but the cockpit is out of control. Judo saves Gimon and tells him that Mashimur is behind the attack. He asks if that is the pretentious guy with the flower. Oh yeah. Back with that pretentious guy. He is upset that the mobile worker has failed, but he must heed Haman's words and get some rest. He mentions the mobile suit Hama Hama is almost production ready. And that will do it for our first dive into Mobile Suit Double Zeta. Regardless of your opinion on this series, you have to admit that going from an artistic sad boy whose friends all died to silly Looney Tunes style hijinks is quite the whiplash. I am sure we will all get adjusted though. Next time, Ashtonaj will try to pilot Zeta Gundam and Judo will finally become a member of the Argama crew. Also, I will be prepping for WonderCon, so the next few days we'll have remastered videos of old videos with poor sound quality, so be on the lookout for those. But that will do it for now, new types. Remember, if you are ever around Side 1, don't go to Shangri-La. There's just junk everywhere. Peace.